Well, today let us discuss about collision theory. Collision theory of reaction rate. Okay. It is also called simple collision theory. Okay. Now, using this theory, we can find out an expression for the rate of the reaction. Okay. So, this theory will tell you how a reaction takes place. Okay. So, using this theory, we will be able to tell how a reaction takes place. Okay. So, let us consider a reaction just like this. Suppose, uh, these are the reactants and they are giving us products. And um, at the very beginning, let me tell you, collision theory is applicable to gas phase reaction. Gas phase bimolecular, bimolecular reactions. Biomolecular reaction. Okay, that means this is gas, this is gas, and in the reaction, two reacting species, two reacting species are involved. One is X, the other is Y. Maybe say this is a hydrogen gas, this is a bromine gas, like that, and product may be HPR. Okay. So, X is gas, Y is gas, so this is gas phase reaction and bimolecular, that means two reacting species are involved, okay. So, collision theory is mainly applicable to this gas phase bimolecular reaction. Now, what does this theory say? What does this theory say? According to this theory, the reaction between these two, these two gases takes place due to the collision between these molecules, okay. The reaction takes place due to the collision between X molecules and Y molecules, okay. They undergo collision as, and as a result of that collision, the reaction takes place okay so this is the basic idea this is the basic idea now collision theory according to collision theory hmm, according to collision theory according to this theory this theory the a rate of the rate of a bimolecular bimolecular reaction reaction depends on depends on number one number one total collision frequency total collision frequency frequency and Boltzmann factor Boltzmann factor there is also another factor which is called steric factor steric factor okay so these are the three things these are the three things on which the rate of this reaction depends according to collision theory now let us first see what is total collision frequency total collision frequency let us first see that Now, collision frequency means 
number of collisions number of collisions collisions between between x and y molecules y molecules per unit volume per unit volume per unit per unit time per unit time okay that means number of collisions between x and y molecules per unit volume per unit time okay that is known as collision frequency okay so volume must be one maybe one meter cube and time may be say one second okay number of collision in one meter cube and in one second that is the collision frequency okay now here we consider collisions between x and y molecules of course there may be collision between x and x molecules y and y molecules so these types of collisions also may be there okay it is not that collision will take place only between x and y molecules okay there may be collisions between x and x molecules y and y molecules okay same type same type of same type of molecules collision may be there but we are interested in this reaction that means we are interested in collision between x and y molecules okay so we are interested in the collision between x and y molecules now this this collision frequency let me call it as z x y this is this is the symbol we will be using for collision frequency now this collision frequency this collision frequency can be derived that is equal to that is equal to phi into collision diameter collision diameter diameter square collision diameter square then average average relative relative speed of the gas molecules gas molecules then number density number density so there will be two terms for number density since we are taking two gases x and y so there will be two terms for number density so these are the factors on which collision frequency depends so collision frequency is equal to this now let us see what collision diameter is collision diameter is so let us assume that this is one molecule okay this is one molecule and this is the radius this is the radius radius of the molecule and this is say another molecule they are colliding suppose so we are taking same time if this is x molecule this is also x molecule again this is the radius again this is the radius same type of molecule so radius is same x molecule x molecule maybe y molecule maybe y molecule so radius is same okay now you see we can uh, we can take this uh, this okay so we can 
consider this is a, a cylinder okay this is a cylinder cylinder this is a cylinder having diameter having diameter d having diameter d okay because this is r this is r so obviously this is the r plus r that means this is the diameter so this is the diameter so suppose this molecule is here this molecule is here okay if the center of the other molecule if the center of the other molecule center of the other molecule comes within this cylinder center of the other molecule comes within this cylinder okay if this center of the this molecule is say fixed okay this molecule is say fixed it is not moving suppose let us assume if the center of this molecule comes within this cylinder then there will be collision okay but if the center of this molecule is outside this cylinder if the center of this center of this molecule is outside this cylinder there will not be any collision okay therefore we consider this as a cylind cylindrical space okay where collision may take place okay and therefore this is called the collision diameter okay center is inside this inside this cylinder so collision will take place outside this cylinder no collision will be there okay this is known as collision diameter now in this case in this case collision diameter in this case collision diameter collision diameter say sigma it is generally represented as sigma okay collision diameter generally represent as represented as sigma okay here collision diameter we are considering two different types of molecules x and y so this will be equal to half of half of sigma x plus sigma y okay diameter of x molecule diameter of y molecule and half of that that is the collision diameter here okay collision diameter so this is collision diameter we have discussed and average speed we know gas molecule possesses three types of speed one is average speed second is mean root mean square speed second is root mean square speed and third is most probable speed so gas molecules possesses three types of speed speeds average speed average speed root mean square speed then most probable speed here we are considering average relative speed okay now that average collision diameter we have discussed now average relative speed average relative speed of x of x and y molecules molecules that is equal to 8 kt by pi mu this is mu reduced mass reduced mass of x and y whole to the power half this is the average speed this is the average speed okay this is the average relative speed okay next number density number density and here you know uh, if mass of x molecule if mass of x molecule is m x mass of y molecule is m y then what is reduced mass reduced mass equal to m x into m y 
divided by mx plus my okay mx into my divided by mx plus my this is the reduced mass okay now uh, the third factor is number density number density means number of number density means number of number of molecules of the gas molecules of the gas divided by volume of the gas volume of the gas volume of the gas that means number of molecules per unit volume number of molecules per unit volume that is the number density okay volume of the gas now here we can um, do little bit of calculation like that we know that the ideal gas let me go to the next page number density equal to this um, we know that ideal gas equation is ideal gas equation is PV equal to NRT okay where pressure you know this P is the pressure V is the volume of the gas N is mole molar gas constant and temperature now we know mole mole equal to number of molecules by Avogadro number Avogadro number okay mole mole equal to number of molecules by Avogadro number okay now you know one mole one mole is equivalent to this much molecules so the n number of molecules n number of molecules will, will be equivalent to n by n mole this much mole okay and this is equal to n mole this much molecules equal to one mole imanta jodi molecule hoy then hole one mole hobo kodi imanta molecule hole kiman mole hobo n by n not the same so this n by n not okay so this thing we can write like this say um we can write like this say r by n not R R R by N naught into N T and R by N naught that is equal to Boltzmann constant R by N naught that is Boltzmann constant N T N T okay now or so what we get uh, what what we get we get PV equal to K N T. PV equal to K N T. So from this, if you write PV by K T, PV by K T, that will be equal to N by V. Number of molecules by volume. And that is equal to number density. And that is equal to number density number of molecules by volume that is equal to number density okay now if we consider concentration that is molar concentration hmm. molar concentration okay molar concentration molar concentration equal to mole by volume mole per unit volume mole per unit volume is molar concentration okay mole of solute present in one liter solution that is molar concentration that means mole by uh, mole by volume that is the molar concentration so we can write like this 
मूल मीन्स एन बाय एन नॉट बाय भी ओके वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस एन बाय भी अगेन वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस एन बाय भी इनटू वन बाय एन नॉट नाउ व्हाट इज एन बाय भी एन बाय भी इक्वल टू पी बाय के टी सो पी बाय के टी एन नॉट so we will have another relation okay now p by kt p by kt what is p by kt p by kt is equal to number density so number density p by equal to number density by avogadro number this is the avogadro number avogadro constant Avogadro constant by Avogadro number, okay? This. So we we are having this type of relations, okay? That means that means number density number density equal to number density equal to concentration molar concentration. मोलार कन्सेंट्रेशन इन टू एफोगेड्रो नम्बर नम्बर डेन्सिटी इक्वेल टू मोलार कन्सेंट्रेशन इन टू एफोगेड्रो नम्बर सो उ आर गेटिंग दिस रिलेशन ओके उर गेटिंग दिस रिलेशन सो यू सी नाउ लेट एस कम बैक टू सो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज कलिशन frequency what is collision frequency pi into collision diameter square what is collision diameter collision diameter equal to this then average relative speed average relative speed number density number density of x number density of y okay uh, i can write here number density of x number density of y i can write here like Okay, so number density we have got. What is number density? Number density equal to concentration into Avogadro number. Therefore, therefore, um, so 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 I can write number density. Number density of x x gas x equal to मोलार कन्सेंट्रेशन अब एक्स इन टू एफोगेड्रो नम्बर सीमिलारलि नम्बर डेन्सिटी अब वाई इक्वेल टू मोलार कन्सेंट्रेशन अब वाई इन टू एफोगेड्रो नम्बर ओके डेयर फोर डेयर फोर कलिशन फ्रिकुवेन्सि टोटेल कलिशन फ्रिकुवेन्सि देट उल बी इक्वेल टू Total collision frequency that will be equal to you see pi into sigma this square pi into sigma square then average relative speed average relative speed okay then number density number density of x number density of y so what we can write this is equal to pi sigma x y square okay sigma x y square then 8 k t by pi mu whole to the power half whole to the power half okay into n not x n not y okay that means n not square n not square x n y so this is the total collision frequency this is the total collision frequency that means this much collisions will be there between x and y molecules per unit volume per unit time Okay, so in volume one, say one meter cube, n 
इन वन सेकेंड ओके इन वॉल्यूम से वन मीटर क्यूब एंड इन वन सेकेंड हाउ मेनी कलिशन विटुईन एक्स एंड वाई मलिकल्स उदियर नम्बर अफ कलिशन इज दिश दिस इज दि नम्बर अफ कलिशन टोटल नम्बर अफ कलिशन पार यूनिट टाइम पार यूनिट वल्यूम आई रिपीट दिस इज दि टोटल नम्बर अफ कलिशन पार यूनिट टाइम पार यूनिट वल्यूम विटुईन एक्स एंड वाई मलिकल्स ओके लेट मे राइट दिस इज दि This is the total number of collisions. Total number of collisions between x and y molecules per unit volume. Per unit volume. पार यूनिट पार यूनिट टाइम ओके सो दिस मच कलिशन उल बी डियर विटुईन ए एंड बी मलिकल्स नाउ दिस इज दि नम्बर वन फैक्टर एज आई हेव अलरेडी सेड सो एकर्डिंग टू कलिशन थिरी रेट अफ बायमलिकार रियेक्शन डिपेन्स ऑन टोटल कलिशन फ्रिकुवेन्सि देट आई हेव गट सेकेंड फैक्टर इज बोल्समैन फैक्टर एंड लेट आस सी ह्वाट इट इज बोल्समैन फैक्टर लेट आस सी ह्वाट इट इज बोल्समैन फैक्टर ओके नौ दो देर उल बी दिस माच कलिशन दो देर उल बी दिस माच कलिशन विटुईन एक्स एंड वाई मलिकल्स इट इज नट देट ऑल दिस कलिशन उल लीड टू रियेक्शन ओके दिस इज दि टोटल नम्बर अफ कलिशन सो ह्वाट डज कलिशन थ्यूरी से दि रियेक्शन टेक्स प्लेस due to the collisions between a x and y molecules i repeat according to collision theory the reaction takes place due to the collisions between x and y molecules okay now next thing is that though there there are this much numbers of collisions though there are this much numbers of collisions Now reaction will not take place due to all these collisions. Okay, it is not that all these collisions will lead to reaction. Okay, now only a fraction, only a fraction of these collisions will lead to reaction. Okay. Only a fraction of these collisions will lead to reaction, and that fraction is the Boltzmann factor. And Boltzmann factor is this: E to the power minus E A by R T. This is the Boltzmann factor. Okay, that means fraction, this fraction, this fraction of this much collisions. Will lead to reaction. Meaning is that all these collisions do not lead to activation energy because activation energy is must for the reaction to take place. Activation energy is must. Okay. Now due to all these collisions, the reactant molecules. do not get the required activation energy okay activation energy now this fraction of these collisions will get the activation energy okay this fraction of these collisions will get the activation energy so 
this fraction of these collisions will lead to reaction will lead to reaction okay thus <coughs> thus let us see calculation of reaction rate calculation of reaction rate reaction rate now let us calculate the reaction rate now if we multiply if we multiply this z x y into e to the power minus e a by r t what this will give us this is the this is the uh, number of number of um, molecules number of x or y molecules number of x of mo y molecules in unit volume unit volume uh, per unit time per unit time undergoing 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 reaction undergoing reaction okay so this is the total collisions and this is the fraction of collisions which lead to reaction so this is the total number of collisions this is the total number of collisions which lead to reaction total number of collision means total number of x or y molecules this is the total number of collisions leading to reaction that means this is the total number of x or y molecules under undergoing reaction of course per unit volume per unit time okay now what is reaction rate what is rate of reaction what is rate of reaction rate of reaction r r equal to we know minus dx dx by dt or this is equal to minus dy by dt we know this rate of reaction that means this is the number of molecules this is the number of molecules but we need concentration here we need concentration here okay this is the number of molecules that means per unit volume this is the number of molecules per unit volume that means this is the number density this is the number density this is the number density okay number of molecules per unit volume that means this is the number density okay this is the number density but here we need concentration we need concentration so what we what we are to do we have already seen we have already seen that number density equal to molar concentration into n not okay that means using this uh, let me give some numbers so this is a number 1 this is a number 2 okay this is a number 2 and uh, And let me write another one let me write another one so uh, so number of number of x or y molecules undergoing undergoing a reaction undergoing reaction per unit volume per unit time per unit time that is equal to z x y what is z x y z x y equal to this pi sigma x y square 8 k t pi mu Whole to the power half into n not square x 
वाई एक्स वाई इन टू ए टू दिवार माइनस ई ए बाई आर टी ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन थ्री दिस इक्वेशन थ्री ओके सो नंबर ऑफ एक्स और वाई मॉलिक्यूल्स अंडर गोइंग रिएक्शन इज इक्वल टू दिस बट वी नीड कंसंट्रेशन सो हाउ वी गेट कंसंट्रेशन we get how we get concentration we divide number density by avogadro number we divide number density by avogadro number then we get molar concentration okay so so this is the number density this is the number density number of x or y molecules per unit volume number of x or y molecules I repeat, number of x or y molecules per unit volume. That means this is the number density. This is the number density. Okay. So, so what will be the reaction rate? What will be the reaction rate? Reaction rate will be equal to we need concentration. So what we do? Uh, what we do? That is number density. Number density. Number density divided by divided by Avogadro number. Number density divided by Avogadro number. So this will be equal to pi sigma x y square eight k t by pi mu whole to the power half. This is n not n not x n y okay n y e to the power minus e e by r t so this will be the rate of the reaction according to simple collision theory so this is a number four this is a number four okay. Now for this reaction, we have already seen that R equal to K into x y for this reaction. Okay, for this reaction, uh, if we apply law mass action, we get this R equal to this. Now, if we if we compare these two, four and five. If we compare four and five, what is the value of k? So k will be equal to pi sigma x y square eight k t pi mu whole to the power half uh, n naught n naught into e to the power minus e a by r t. So k is equal to this. K is equal to this. This is a number six. So we get expression for the rate constant. Rate constant of this reaction. Okay. So according to simple collision theory, rate of this reaction is this. Rate of the bimolecular gas phase reaction is this, and the rate constant is this. Okay. Now, so far we have considered two points. Now, we talked about three points: total collision frequency, Boltzmann factor. Then there is one called st steric factor. What it means? Let us see that. What it means? Suppose we are considering this reaction. This is gas phase reaction: hydrogen, bromine, say HBr. Now we have already said we have already said that what is the mechanism? First, bromine gives us bromine radical, okay? Bromine radical. Then bromine radical reacts with H two to form HBr, 
NH. Okay. Let us see this reaction. Let us see this reaction. Suppose this is H2. This is H2. This is H2. Hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom. This is H2. And suppose this is bromine atom. Suppose this is bromine atom. This is bromine atom. Now, what does the collision theory say? The reaction takes place. This reaction takes place due to the collision between these two species. Okay. Now, at the time of collision, at the time of collision, how these two species are oriented? Whether they are oriented like this, whether they are oriented like this, whether they are oriented like this or whether they are oriented like this. Oh, sorry. Whether they are oriented like this. Okay. Whether at the time of collision, whether H2 and Br, they are oriented like this or oriented like this. The rate of reaction also depends on this, on the orientation of the reacting species. Rate of the reaction also depends on the orientation, orientation of the reacting species at the time of collision, at the time of collision. It is found that if the collision takes place like this, then activation energy becomes lower. If you look at the activation energy, okay, if you look at the activation energy, say, suppose I represent this collision by A and this collision by B. Suppose I represent this collision, this collision by A and this collision by B. In this type of collision, it is found that in this type of collision, the activation energy is less. Activation energy is less. But in this type of collision, the activation energy is more. Activation energy is more. This is B, B type collision and this is A type collision. So activation energy less means rate of reaction will be more here. In this case, rate of reaction will be more. In this case, rate of reaction will be less. Thus, the rate of reaction also depends on the orientation of the reacting species at the time of collision. To include the steric factor, to include the steric factor, we will introduce one factor in the rate expression. We introduce one factor in the rate expression. What is that? We call it probability factor. Probability factor. This is the probability factor. Okay? And this is equal to just this factor. Everything is same. Pi sigma xy pi sigma xy square then 8 kt by pi mu whole to the power half n naught x y e to the power minus e a by r t okay e a by r t so k will be this k will be equal to p pi sigma x y square 8 kt by pi mu whole to the power half n naught x sorry n naught not x n naught into e to the power minus e a by r t okay and this is all about simple collision theory of reaction rates so let us stop here today next time 
who will discuss the other theory that is Lindman theory. So thank you.